Now for your match, we have head coach Derek Kellogg, senior Samson Carter, junior Caddy Laleen, and senior Chaz Williams. Open it up with some uh, general comments on the game for us. Well, first of all, it was an honor to be part of the uh, Cancer Society's uh, triple header today. I thought it was great for um, you know that organization and also to uh, bring basketball to the state of Massachusetts. You know, the first game, peeping out there and watching uh, the last couple of minutes, it was a great college basketball game. <clears throat> I thought um, our game versus uh, BC today was a, a very good college basketball game with a lot of excitement. Um, I'm obviously happy we were able to pull away with a victory. And um, I'm anticipating a, another hard-fought, tough battle between Holy Cross and, uh, and Harvard. So uh, for us to be able to be a part of this and get come to Boston, see this great city and spend some time here and let the guys get their feet on the hardwood in the garden is, uh, for me as a Massachusetts kid, that was a big honor. And, and you know, when you're watching games in the 80s uh, in the old garden, to imagine yourself coaching here is um, something, you know, brings a little nostalgia to, to say. So, and um, I was happy with the way our team performed today. And, Kind of like the turnaround BC had to play us after the Providence game the other night. We now have a, a tight turnaround with a, a team uh, from down in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, LSU coming in. Open it up to some questions for the student athletes, please. Samson, there was a stretch in the second half you guys were down, and you had, the, you had a few baskets in a row there. Were you looking to provide a spark at that point? Were you thinking about it, given that they had kind of controlled it at that point in the second half? Oh uh, yeah, um, we talked at uh, halftime and um, before we came out, and we we, we all knew that um, we all knew and agreed that this was a uh, this game was gonna uh, either hurt us or help us down the line when it came tournament time. So um, you know we we pulled it together and I got down on myself uh, after getting the steal and going coast to coast and uh, missing that layup. So that kind of kind of added fuel to my fire to, to kind of bring us back. Just to, to follow that up for either of you guys, what did that stretch that Samson have to score those points? Or what did that do for, for the morale of the team and the momentum that you guys had? Uh, it did a lot. Um, it gave us a huge boost. Uh, like you said, after that layup, you know, he was in the locker room beating himself up. We all told him, like, you good, bro. You're going you're gonna to get it right. And, you know, the next couple of plays out in the second half, you know, it was him that was making plays. So, you know, he sparked the run, and, you know, we all kind of finished it. Now, Caddy. The performance you had today, is that just a product of finally being healthy in the offseason, being able to work work on your game more than having rehab injuries? Uh, yeah, I think uh, being in shape and uh, you know, just working on my game helped a lot. Uh, and, um, every day in practice and every day we do anything, they all coaching Chaz and uh, Sam Player, I always tell them, you know, I make sure you dominate every game. So you know, that, that was my mindset coming into the game. And when you see Samson making plays in the paint that Samson needs to catch, is that kind of infectious for you to see him cleaning up down there and to want to get involved too? Oh, yeah, because um, uh, especially since, you know, that's my brother. And we, we also set out together. We was hurt together, so we, we rehabbed together. So we went through a stress together where we wasn't just on the court together. We was off the court together, you know, uh, bonding and, you know, pushing each other every day. So to see us back out here, you know, together, it's, it's a feeling I can't even – Describe, you know, and to see him dominate like that, I expect it from him. I know what he can do, and he know what I can do. So, ain't no surprises. Derek, you mentioned on several occasions that you think that it's the kind of performance that Caddy can put up night in, night out. Is that is that what you're looking for? Well, you know, I actually didn't realize he had 27 and 12. I thought it was like 15 and nine. Uh, so, <laughs> but the reality is, I expect a lot of Caddy, um, and I've seen what he's capable of doing. And, um, I expect him to play like he did tonight, just about every every time out. Maybe not 27 and 12, but with that ferocity and, and, and kind of getting rebounds around the basket. Um, you know, they play a different lineup, so he was kind of the only true big guy on the floor. So I thought that gave him an advantage. If he could guard and kind of help check Anderson on one end, I thought we would have the advantage on the other end. And when the guards started slicing in there, they had to help. That left the basket wide open for Caddy, and he did uh, he did what he does in practice, which is. Uh, Go finish, go finish place. So I was happy for him. You know, I think he's deserved this, and now he's got to build on that. Um, you know, on Tuesday and then continue it through a whole season. Does this feel like a nice tone set for you guys as a team to be, de to be down a little bit in the second half and to, to gather it within yourself and to, to, to turn that around? Uh, yeah, it's good to know that we can do it, but we're not satisfied. Uh, we had the lead at one point and we gave it up, so. You know, we're just going to try to well, we go back to the drawing board. The coach going to allow us to know and let us know what we need to do to keep the lead and, you know, keep our game plan going so, you know, times like this don't happen again. Uh, I mean, it's positive and negative. I mean, on the negative side, 
it teaches us, you know, once we get the lead to keep the lead and pull away. And on the positive side, it shows us that we can fight through adversity and, you know, come back. Chaz, when you catch fire like you did from, from three-point land, you're five for five, does it just feel like everything you put up at that point is going to go in? Uh, no, not really. I was just shooting with confidence. Um, you know, it's been a long off season, just working out on my jump shot. And, uh, guys did a great job in finding me, and I, you know, I got to thank my teammates for finding me when I was open. And, you know, I just made my shot. Easy games too. We just weren't. It just didn't play that way. But obviously, um, being able to play a team like Boston College, an ACC team in Boston, um, that's one you and, and with the um, you know Cancer Society, you can't turn that game down. That's one we have to play. And to get LSU at UMass, you can't you cannot turn those BCS level games down. You just can't. They're too hard to come by. And so. Um, Fortunately, we came away with a victory, but I think all coaches would like to try to ease into the season a little bit, except for, I guess, Coach Donahue and myself. <laughs> um, so it worked out for us, um, and um, I think with a senior-laden team and some older guys, you can do that, but you have to be really careful in scheduling of knowing your team and, and kind of doing what's right for your team and program that particular year. Uh, this one's for Chaz and Coach. Uh, you really cut down turnovers in the second half. Was there any specific adjustments you guys made in the second half that – kind of slow things down or, or sped things up and let you guys get out and run a little bit? Uh, just being patient, uh, taking what the defense is giving us, and not um, trying to force things. Um, I caught myself trying to do too much a couple of plays and uh, do a couple of turnovers. And, um, you know, my teammates, I look over to the bench and I see Caddy and Samson telling me, like, calm down, just slow down. So, you know, I, I, I just realized that and then, you know, everything just came into play from there. And I, and I thought we um, played three guards a little bit more in the second half uh, with Derek Gordon, Trey Davis, and, and uh, Chaz. And I thought during that stretch we had another ball handler. Those guys did a nice job of um, taking advantage of Boston College ice inside pick and rolls. And, and it wasn't anything different we did, just kind of this is what they're trying to do. And those guys, you know, we, um, you know, I'm kind of a coach that tells them what they're doing and you're a good basketball player, go figure it out a little bit. And I thought um, Chaz, Derek, and uh, Trey did a nice job of kind of using that against them to a certain extent. And that left Caddy kind of open, uh, open to clean up the boards. Coach, at what point in the second half did you realize that it was time to up the full court press to full throttle? Yeah, at the halftime. We, uh, we discussed it at halftime um, and really waited until Maxie got in the game. I think our best pressing lineup is when <coughs> Maxie comes in. Um, and he's, like, he's a one-man press. He's, he's Will Herndon, but in 2013. Derek, if, uh, you double in points in the paint, I'll double in second chance points. Is that a factor of BC, the way they play, or is that something you want to do much more this year? I would say it's a combination of both. Um, they spread you out a little bit more on both ends of the floor. They don't play a traditional big guy, so uh, Anderson, who, who I would say is more of a you know, swing forward at the next level, um, gets caught covering a 6'9", 260-pound guy in caddy, which, which – um, you know, at times hurt them, and also um, we made a commitment to get the ball inside more this year. Whether it's off the offensive glass, whether it's driving to the rim, whether it's posting it, I think we posted the ball more tonight than we did the last two years combined. Honestly, like inside the post, not the mid post or the elbows. You know, so it's a combination of things. I think that's our most effective way to play. Uh, so this was the first game with Derek Gordon in the lineup. How do you think he's going to change the way you play on offense? You say go inside, take a little less three. Well, he goes, he goes and really crashes the offensive boards. I think he's a, he's a finisher, although he didn't finish quite as well as he, he's been um, today. And I think he's still getting in basketball shape. Um, you know, a lot of those, he, did, he was probably an inch or two lower than he, he, he had been. Um, so um, all those things will take into consideration. But he's a, I love having him on our team. I think the kid's a, a tough customer. And he's a he's a competitor, so um, he just he he's a guy that has a, an upside to get better as the season goes on. Um, and Coach, uh, you referenced uh, the, that uh, BC had a quick turnaround. How do you guys prepare for that? It's a weird game. It's a home opener. It's at eleven o'clock in the morning. How do you guys get ready for that? Well, we're gonna um, we'll probably let him rest today on the bus going back. I probably won't do any. Uh, and yeah, maybe we'll see. Um, <laughs> these guys are seniors and juniors, um, so. I mean, I'm, I'm anticipating we'll have some legs. I just got to be cautious. We'll, we're not going to do much tomorrow, which is a Monday. We'll let them have pregame as late as possible on, on Tuesday morning to get ready for the game. 
and maybe even have it over at the dorm so that they can just come downstairs in their slippers and, and uh, bathrobes and have breakfast. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll figure it out. Samson, are you healthier than you were at this point a year ago coming off the injury? You look like you've got more explosiveness than, than, than you did a year ago. Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, I'm feeling better than ever, honestly. I just thank God because, I mean, I was at one point I was down and I was thinking, man, I just can't wait till I'm happy again. So, I mean, I just have so many hopes for this for this season and I can just feel that I know it's going to be a great year. So. Any other questions? Thanks. Thanks.